Hello and welcome to No Regard Journey Live. <laughs> uh, so today I would like to uh, find a nice place to get some AAs. Um, I know I can go to uh, TOV, uh, COV, and do some stuff there, but I want to try to go back a little bit further because currently No Regard is uh, lacking in AAs uh, significantly. Uh, I think he's like 25 to 30,000 short of uh, maximum, maybe more. Uh, we're, we want to get uh, some of these uh, like enhanced decay. That is like really damaging our uh, our output. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'd like to start in, uh, let's see here, probably Empires of Kunark. Uh, there's a few zones I haven't been to. Uh, so I'd like to pick up the explorations along the way. So I'd like to go to check out Droga, see if we get more than one AA per kill there. If we do, and our pet can like ma massively kill these things without much effort, then that'll be fun. Uh, Chardock, I haven't been to the new Chardock, so I'd like to try that. And I haven't been to Korsha or uh, Korsha Laboratory. I don't even know if I can get to those without doing the progression. Uh, then I'd like to make my way into, uh, trying out, I can't see it here, uh, Skyfire. I, I hear that zone's really annoying because there's, like, things that fly above you. So we might just run through there. Uh, but I want to check out Howling Stones, Sethir's Tomb. Uh, I've tried these on my, uh, these two on my multiboxing group, and they seem pretty fine, but they were just a pain, it's a pain to get six characters down there. Uh, so... That's that. Uh, Gorowind, I've never been. I'd like to try it out. And uh, I don't think we can get in VP without a key. And then from there, I'd like to take a look at if we can get anywhere inside of Burning Lands. I think it's all locked behind uh, the progression. And I don't really want to do that right now. So we'll try that. And then uh, I'd like to go back and try, uh, see how it is now that we're 115 getting AAs in uh, Eastern Waste. Uh, try out Great Divide and uh, maybe try out uh, the Mines or the Frozen Shadow. So we're going to try a few different places, uh, whatnot, and see how this goes. Hopefully the audio is going good. It looks like everything on my end is going. I can see it at least. <laughs> All right. And it looks like it's, you know, recording everything. So that should be fine. So let's go ahead and uh, get a portal from this uh, guild hall here uh, sort by price because that's the way to find the easy <laughs> to find them the easiest uh, let's see here let's go to the map real quick and then we're going to go to Empires of Kunark and then from Lyceum we can go Scorched Woods Frontier Mountain Jaroga or Chardox so we want to go to Lyceum which is I think it's this one Teleport you to the CM. There we go. Go ahead and grab that. And drop it on there. Alright. And our pet is the level one what what level is that thing? Uh it's like 112? It's a, it's a 112 summon, so it's gotta be a different one. Uh where's pet here? I'm using the 112 sh shade. I guess that's what I'm actually using. He's only 112. Uh, I don't have a very high, um, what you call it, uh, enhanced minion yet, so he is kind of weak. I only have enhanced minion. What is this one? Uh, 22? Yeah, I only have enhanced minion 22, so... He's gotten us to 115, so we'll keep him. And he only has mage pet weapons. Uh, he doesn't have anything else at the moment. All right, we're here in Lyceum. Uh, at some point in time, we will do the uh, progression here uh, for the normal YouTube series, but uh, I don't feel like doing it right now. So we're going to head up to Scorched Wood and uh, see what we can find up there. Uh, I, I actually started doing the progression on one of my uh, one of my groups of characters here, and it's pretty easy at 115. So it's uh, everything I think is uh, light blue. Actually, let's just kill this thing and see how much experience we get. Okay, we're at uh, 40 percent. 
stunned. And then I'm using UK EQ log parser uh, to show my DPS. Uh, there we go. I finally showed up. Uh, it took me a little while to get it configured, but uh, it, does, it should be. It for some reason isn't recognizing Jarn as my pet. I don't know why, but as uh, that. All right, we gotta add, and we do have the mercenary out, but I don't. I'm not. I I always just keep the mercenary out because I am extremely lazy when I play uh, solo. Ah, oh, where is it? Conversions, there we go. We get bones up. Let's get off this mount. Let's get pet on to this guy. So that was 40% to 66%. So that's about 26% of an AA to kill a 107 blue for almost zero effort on in all in all honesty compared to what it takes to kill some of these things all right and i'm trying to see how many hit points that last one had all right he's die a uh, hundred or six million hit points okay that's in my uh bring that over here so here you can see i'm just trying to keep track of uh kind of some of the stuff so that was 12 66 to 86 so about 20 percent per so not the best uh let's keep going deeper into empires of kunark the maximum aa you can get per kill is five uh without a uh, lesson or anything like that we're not going to be able to hit that but uh definitely uh something to keep in mind and where is the zone line right up here so we'll run through here and go through here and and it'd probably be beneficial to do the the uh progression for empires of kunark and ring of scale because each of the quests and uh group missions all provide um I think like 20 AA each and then uh, some of them provide 50. So definitely uh definitely worth it. <laughs> all right, we're here in uh scorched wood now. Uh so let's see where is Charduck? Charduck's up that way. So let's kind of go up that way and see if there's anything we can kill. Uh, I don't see anything yet. I I took off Invis just so I can uh, quickly check the reputation of some of these things. So like this 105 here, this champion, is ready to attack. Let's go ahead and grab him. And uh, get him dead. So we're going to do Oblivion. Uh, I have Poison as my third dot. And then I go with a disease. I should probably make disease sooner in my rotation since it's two dots in one and it lasts for quite a while. I'm not sure the best uh, statistics for that, but I think we'll eventually figure it out. And then if we go over here, we can kind of sometimes see the damage. There's just so much stuff scrolling by. All right, so we got, uh, we were at 80. We got at least 20, so about 27%. Of an AA for that one. So that's okay. Uh, let's see what else we run. He was a 107 also too. So there's another one. This one's a 104. Let's see how he fares. So he, where, what, what are we at? 5%? No, that's our experience. 7.9%. And... I mean, you can see the pet is almost had it like to 75% before I even did anything, so. He's doing fairly well. All right, I'm going to stop at disease on this one just to see uh, how that goes. Without uh, having to do anything, without refreshing any dots. Um, so this is going to give us... Uh, 
Come on. There we go. Another 20% and a blue diamond. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. What are these guys calling? Dubious? Uh, I suspect they are not for killing. If they're dubious. <laughs> Alright, we got a, uh, a forest giant. I thought that said frost. Let's get this guy. I remember... I remember killing these things back in Burning Wood. A long, long time ago on my druid. Alright, maybe there's some dragon drake things in here. Worms. That'd be kind of fun to kill. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go seven. One more dot. I don't think this guy's gonna survive longer than that. And we're at 27%, so we'll see where this one takes us. Oh, let's see here. Looks like we're going to have to refresh dots on this guy. Which, I mean, I'm not terribly against. He's got a lot more hit points. Hopefully that means he has a lot more experience. Don't think my pet's missing any buffs. Maybe this one. He's doing, doing a fine job. So that is 40%, 2267. Nice. So that's definitely, uh, definitely worth it. Is there the giant fort still around here? Let's go see. Uh, I don't know what, I just saw some skeletons run by. Kind of cool. It's up here. That's the meteor, so... Oh, there's a bigger giant fort now, I think. Something right here. I don't know what that is. It's like they renamed Burning Wood to Scorched Wood. Which is <laughs> kind of hilarious, if you think about it. Because the uh, everything burned up. Alright, what do we got here? We got Fire Elementals over here, which is... Actually, good to know. Uh, on some magma constructs. Coal elemental. Alright, here's some giant... Oh, there's the giant fort. I can kind of see the outline of it over there. I want to get over there and check this out. I mean, I'm, this is like five, five or six year old content, right? Uh, oh, wow. You can't even get up in the giant fort anymore. It's like the... The, uh, the ramp's broken. Oh, all the... There... Oh, no, those are just, like, things. Ooh, who's this guy? He's indifferent. Oh, Gorga. Sneaky's pie. Huh, must be a little quest. We'll have to come back through here and do a little quest at some point. So we got more giants over there. So it looks like something happened to their fort. Uh, I could have swore there was a hole under the fort, though, like a crater, but I can't remember. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Is this like the new giant fort? Yes, it is. All right. Are they solo pullable? Nope. Still a paralysis. A paralysis. And, uh, dot this guy up and then we'll see where this goes there we go five and I'm gonna go ahead and do a second poison dot followed by the other one of those and I don't know if these guys summon so let's find out <laughs> always worth it to find out, right? Can't imagine they hit too hard, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look like they summon, so... I just haven't done enough damage yet. 
So I think the mercenary is healing the, uh, I can see it ping-ponging right here, healing the, um, what are they called? The swarm pets. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, that should... Oh, he wants to play. Let's see if we can reroute re him real quick. And I've been sending the uh, the pest, uh, the swarm pets at him, so they break root. So that's just my mistake. All right, this guy's almost dead. Send the swarm pets on that one for now. It's nice to know that they don't summon. Um, so that means they are pretty good for leveling. All right, we got. 40%? So it's about 40% a kill, yeah. 40%. That's not bad, really. There's a whole bunch of them here, too. Let's see, let's kill this laborer real quick. Get our pet on there. And then we'll go to Charduck after this. Let's go ahead and blood magic. And venom. And I'm gonna do the full gauntlet. Just because, and then I'm gonna mount up. Come on. That works out. So this one should be about 40% also. But I'm not sure what to expect. Oh, do I refresh? I'm going to refresh Crag because that is the only one I think I have, uh, have ready. So that was... We were at like 40? A little less than 40, so... Oh, shiny. Got to pick these up. There we go. We got a... First collectible for this expansion. All right, uh, let's head on over to Chardock and see uh, how that fares. Oh, we got a an ad. Come on, dismount. Ooh, they hit pretty hard. Okay, with that though, I think I had a uh, what you call it on still too. So it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and do Death Bloom, because that's the one I think I actually meant to click. <laughs> Not uh, Blood Magic. Blood Magic's the one that changes, uh, trades the, uh, trades, uh, mana for hit points through, uh, when you cast. Whereas Death Bloom is, like, super cannibalized over and over again with kind of like the Lich mechanic. Alright. Redo that one. And pop that on and drop this in there. There we go. Oh, that was a uh, composite. Composite's a pretty nice life tap, uh, but I don't have <clears throat> I don't have any of the progression for it, so it's uh, not as useful as I'd like it to be. Go ahead and drop that on there and recrag. That should kill him. Perfect. So he was another 40%-ish. Alright, so Skyfire Mountains is up that way. Um, Yeah, let's go to Charduck first. And then we'll head over to uh, Skyfire Gorowin. And I think there's a lab somewhere. In, that might be off of Frontier Mountains, though. Alright, we got... We didn't try one of these guys though. 
I have a damage shield. Uh, I need to get that. What is that? Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. There's an AA that dispels. Oh, we got a coal piece of coal on us. Let's get him. Oh, jeez. Stupid mount. Get off of it. Immune. <laughs> Immune to uh to root. That's nice to know. All right. Let's get my pet on that one. Is he immune to fire? No. Yeah, he is. Resist. So let's go ahead and do a uh, Synthethool. Oh, where is that spell? I have to deal with the other dots until I can figure out where it's at. All right, well, it's going on. What, what did it be called? Fury of Magic? No. Is my I'm just gonna chain heal my pet for now. It's probably the best course of action since he's just gonna kill himself with the the uh what you call it uh heroes do can activate can purchase off eradicate magic there it is Aki that son of a gun let's put it right here all right, that dot's gone. I mean, not dot, but uh, there we go. All right, now we can actually finish dotting this guy up because our pet will survive. He can take two of these without any issue because they are, uh, I got rid of yours. There we go. Uh, that's not gonna land. There we go. Crisis averted. Come on. There, my minions are out. That thing's gonna die. Sent a Thule on this one. And disease. There we go. Should probably do uh, Oblivion. And go ahead and composite. Now we can remount. All right, so. Not doing that great of damage. <laughs> like 105. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Go ahead and death bloom again. And I need to get rune memorized. Perfect. So what are these things? 53 to 93, 40%. That's a, it seems about average for these uh, light blues, about 40%. I'm guessing a blue is going to be like one AA per kill, I would guess. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this guy? A worm. Okay, we got to kill this guy. We got to kill him. God dang it. Immune. All right. All right, got him off. Uh, pet attack that. Get him on there. Get him on that. All right, he's immune to fire. Are you immune to fire? No, you're not. All right, I'm going to burn down this uh, dauber.
and we'll get this one. All right, well, he's doing that. So let's re redot this guy with what we have. Can we snare him? Nope, immune. Go back to oh, Dauber's dead. There we go. We got another AA point for that one. Uh, let's see here. What do we need on this guy? We're low on mana. That should be fine. Let's do that. Let's refresh that one and that one. We need disease now. And let's mount up. There we go. Uh, that was a waste of mana. I didn't really. I didn't see how low it was. All right. Fourteen to fifty. About the same. All right. Charduck it is. But oh, we did kill a kill a worm. That was kind of cool. You know, fresh memories of a uh, long, long time ago. <laughs> it was like mid fifties. Burning woods. Doing uh, giant fort and random spots around here. There used to be a. Uh, there's like named. Uh, like running into a wall. Uh, named uh, worms for the mage epic and stuff like that. Maybe the bard epic too. It's been a while. Alright. So by the time we get to Charduck, we should have enough mana so these are all light blue 104s 106 all right let's go ahead and viz i don't want to deal with these guys right now i don't see in viz do they no one oh three wow there's a lot of them over here that's pretty nice and Charduck is this still the same zone in, so that's good. Just right over here. So we'll try this one out, see if we can find anything blue. I, I'm feeling it's going to be a, a low uh, chance, so... That guy doesn't see invis. I assume the dogs see through invis, yeah. So let's go ahead and just kill this first guy. So we are at 50, even. A little bit of extra. Should have met it up, but oh well. Death Bloom will be up in eight seconds. Do disease. And Brawling Shadow. How hard do these things hit? I saw a 9,000, 11,000. That's not that bad. <laughs> That's not that bad. All right, so we went from uh, 50 to 30, 40. Yeah, 50 to 84, that's 34%. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty easy mob considering, but uh, <laughs> all right, let's get this dog. Can we snare him? Yeah, he's snared. I'm going to go ahead and composite as soon as I get mana. I'm just going to let my pet kind of solo this while I get a little mana. What do I have on this one? 441-3307. Alright, so that's my uh, pet defensive. Should just give the pet Aegis so he'll think a little better. I'll go ahead and sight him. 
Uh, so you should probably just solo the thing now. And see if we can get Crag on there. And Composite. And the Composite will heal us and the, ma the Mercenary shouldn't have to bother with it. For the duration of this fight. I mean, the pet's doing pretty well. I mean, all things considered, right? No, 50, 50, 50, uh, 50k damage is horrible. I got it up to 150 at one point, but I must have got lucky with uh, crits or something. Alright, this thing is about to die, so it'll go 84 to, I'm going to say, 20%, 15%, a little less than I thought. Another Dragoon. I guess I can F, you know, FD it past all this stuff, but, uh, kind of want to check it all out. Let's see what... Where are we at? Right up here. There's a name down there. Yeah, we'll just keep going in and just see. Is there anybody else here? There are. Looks like there's a guild doing something. Or a boxer doing something. That thing's dead. Let's get a little bit more mana. All right, what do we got next? Let's send Viz and just go past what we can. Okay, we got a shard in a soldier, which we can walk past. And then we got a room full of dogs. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna walk back past this guy because he is probably gonna cause issues. I'm gonna have to pull those dogs up here and kill them. I'm gonna recomposite since I am taking uh, taking damage, but I don't have the mana, so it's a little pet soloing time until blood magic and death bloomer. Available again. Let's see here. Gonna go with crack. Nope. Let's see here. Do I got anything I can use? Doesn't look like it. I can burn things, but I'm not really interested right now. There we go. Aegis will help the pet out. I think I have, if I hit this thing like th another time, it does fortitude. Fortify companion, yeah. And then what does it do after that? Cast 10, which is Insight Ally, and then cast 12, which is Composite. So I had something else there at some point in time, so I'm going to take that line out. So this is 50% uh, to what are we going to hit here? Let's probably want to wait out of combat to get mana after this one. Go ahead, Death Bloom. There we go. So, 50 to 81, so about 50, 30 fish percent. Not bad, not bad. I bet we're gonna have to go to like the Ring of Scale level stuff to find a blue mob, and that'll probably be Helling Stone. Uh, I think that'll be fun to try out sooner or later, but we're gonna, we're gonna go through some of these. I do need to make a list of augs I need to get uh, for this guy. 
I know most of the augs I want are in the current expansion, but uh, I'm not going to be able to kill any of the names there yet. Nor can I do the missions yet to get uh, the tokens, so that'll be uh, sooner or later. Alright, so might as well pull a dog. Let's get this one. Do I have like pet attack on that? Because uh, that's not right. Why is my pet... Oh, I know. He's not on G-Hold. Uh, here. Punch you. Where's my pet? What's he at? He's doing okay. Let's go ahead and fortify him. There. Now he's like super tank for right now. Uh... I forgot to put him on G hold, so he's just like going to town. Might die. I don't know. Not too concerned, really. Just keep healing him up. Punch you. Doesn't look like any of these summons, so. Companions <laughs> Aegis. Go ahead and do this. I'm gonna turn on Blood Magic. Kill this guy again. I think one more dot should kill him. Is this the one he's actually fighting? Oh, I should heal him. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I got my uh, end, end companion on him. There we go, one down. I just saw a dog run by. I believe that was a player, not like some pet, some mob. There we go. One more. And let's do seven. Alright, that guy's dead. Oh, what's this? Oh, did somebody mez it? That's weird. I guess some guy helped me out. Nice. That's why I like <laughs> I like playing on these live servers. Uh, it's always someone nice around. All right, let's do that, and that should kill that thing, right? Let's go and snare him. Oh, I guess he was forgotten about me. I'm gonna run this way, and then I'm gonna pestilence him and... again. See if I can cast on him. There we go. I think we are fine. We made it through that chaotic pull with uh not much to worry about. <laughs> it's, it's hard to talk and think what to get. All right, let's send the pet on that thing. Looks like we can root rot all this because I I figured all this stuff would summon. I've just uh. Didn't know, so that's nice to know. All right, I'm gonna bet up. Ah, uh, pet should be able to take this guy down. So I think we got like two AAs from all of that, so that's pretty cool. And we got a little bit more on that one, another little bit. All right, what do we got going on over here? Um, got some more guys there. Let's see if we can sneak further into this place. Uh, there's undead and that. So he's on G-Hold. I'm going to put you on passive. So let me see what I got to do. I got to run past this guy. Let's 
Okay. Do this. Uh, and just kind of like go past. I'm going to feign death. So we get past this stuff. Alright, so nothing aggroed on us. Right, we want to get in here. I suspect we might be able to get past them. If not, just keep going. Alright, we got a guy right here. And past him. Alright, so it's easier than I thought to get past this stuff. Alright, so where do we want to go? Let's see, if we go up, we head off to the vault. I want to go kind of this way, right? Yeah, let's go this way. Alright, we got a dog. We might be able to just walk past him. He's got a friend. Walk past him too. They see invis, right? Or am I just like, yeah, they can see invis. We're just getting lucky. All right, we got a herbalist. Dragoon. All right. What is that? I just saw like a massive building through the wall. All right. Okay, this place looks cool. Um, oh, wow. That is really cool down there, too. All right, do these guys see Invis? He sees Invis. All right, let's kill him. Interesting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and Death Bloom and uh, Composite. And then more no my normal dots. Sent a Thule. Now, I have no idea if this thing summons, so I'm just going to pet tank since they're such lower level. Not a real big deal. And then we'll have to uh, see what is on the other side over here. So where are we at? We are at... This is like the bridge, or the bridge keeper, is where uh, in the old version the, the uh, monk epic item spawned. What am I missing? Something's like missing right there. I don't know what it is. There we go. Oh yeah, it was composite. All right, we're getting 150, 59 on these. That's not bad. 160. It's not too bad. I mean, we need more AAs, but getting there. Still can't buy anything useful. To our uh, current predicament. All right, so he's indifferent. He can see me. He's indifferent. All right over there uh looks like there are more over that way there's a dog and another guy that way it's a bunch of mobs right there can i run past you i can that's a moving dog what is this guy he's indifferent all right let's see where we're we at looks like a named spawns in there three of them but we want to go this way i believe so let's go this way. I gotta like make a choice between uh, that guy and the dog. I'm just gonna kill this one. Here, let's try this. I'm gonna see if this thing summons real quick. Might be worth checking out. So if he summons, I can just send the pet on him. But uh, if he doesn't, I can root rot multiples. So that'll be nice to know. And that is going fairly well. 
my mana pool feels really low. Alright, I think he's good enough. Does not summon, so that's pretty nice. So 76 to 16, yes. <laughs> Alright, some poison materials. Send that off to my rogue. Alright, uh... Bet I can solo pull you. And I can. So let's go like this. Ah, oh, son of a gun, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Jeez, I was like, where'd that guy go? I'm gonna go ahead and send the uh, pet on this one, just because I am a lot lower mana than I would like. And these are easy. Like, uh, that doesn't seem to be having a problem. As long as I put the mercenary back on, uh, balanced. There we go. And one more of those. There, that should eliminate that. Oh, he's dead. All right, so this is actually decent experience, I would say. I probably should have came here lower, a lot lower than this, but. All right, I'm gonna get the dog, because I think the dog's gonna be, is the one that's gonna cause me the problem when I walk up there. I snared the dog. And he forgot me. What is what is that deal? Alright, I'm gonna let the pet solo this while I met up for a few seconds. This is interesting. What's my food situation at? I'm good. Very interesting, I must say. Alright, how much deeper do we wanna go? So we are high filter right here in the by the bridge keeper, I guess. So if we go across the bridge, we go to the palace. Um, what's in the palace? We got a prince room. There's a queen room. Looks like they got rid of the king. There's a few names in there that I'd like to at least go see how far we can get into that. So let's go across the bridge, uh, investigate down here. Uh, there might be locked doors or something that we can't get past. So it's definitely uh, worth looking at. All right, we're going to death bloom this guy, composite. Can I cast? There we go. And just throw a dot on him. And met up. So the composite should keep us healed uh, while the uh, the pet is going. All right. Thanks for the follow, uh, Jeet. I sorry I didn't see that. <laughs> it's like the same icon for. All the little things on my notification over there. All right. All right, come on. Let's get him up. I don't know why the pet randomly started taking way more damage. All right, he's dead. All right, let's get past this guy. So what is in this room here? Oh, jeez. What the hell is that? Crystal. Oh, the bridge. That's the named. <laughs> oh. All right, um, ah, oh, that's interesting. So we're gonna have to kill this guy and this guy. All right, let's do that. So there's a named bridge keeper right there. We're gonna have to try to kill him here in a second. Can't imagine he's gonna be too hard considering 
the level difference here. What level are these? 106. Alright, that should kill him. Hopefully a, that group that was here doesn't come and uh, yoink him. Yeah, that guy's a wolf. He must have been the guy at the zone in that uh, messed that thing for me. We'll uh, do some some of these cooldowns on the named guy. See what we can get DPS wise out of all that. Let's see this one. What is this one? Reduces the duration. I don't like that at all. Man, it's just like. Sucking the mana out of me, come on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this guy. But I'm going to go like right over here. I think the mercenary should have no problem uh, keeping them both up while I dot, the, dot this guy down. And try to get that fight started a little earlier. Come on. Oh my gosh, die golem. <laughs> That's a hard little golem right there. There we go, got him. Uh, can't remember what that's for. But you get this from the Overseer quite a bit, I think. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. Let's see here. I'm gonna not do anything. Just let him do his thing. Oh, there's somebody's campfire right here. Oh, I just noticed that. So we need mana <laughs> significantly. Um, I don't think I have. I, I guess I could staunch recovery if I needed to. Yeah, I don't see anything else that I would uh, want for that. So he should just really do that. And mercenary is not uh, not having any issues, so that's good. Go ahead and put one dot on him just so he dies quicker, and I can get the out of combat regen. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I think that should be fine. All right. Good. Come on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and death bloom. I'm just going to pull this guy, I think. Well, let me get a little bit more mana. Um, I'm being over. I'm being a little bit too eager here. Me at like 11 seconds before I'm out of combat anyway. And how long for blood magic? 27 seconds? Yeah, I think we're gonna be good on that. 4%. Forty. I feel how much death bloom has 10 seconds left let's try to get as much out of that as we can I'm sure this thing's gonna be immune to snare so all right 
Hewn to snare. Go ahead and do some all kinds of stuff on this thing. All right. Let's get the pet some uh, buffies. Oh, hopefully that guy doesn't come add. Oh, this guy's got a lot more hit points than everything else. That's crazy. All right. Get oblivion on him. Is that crystal? Let's get crystal on him. Free crag. Wow. Significantly more, more hit points than the other guy. Let's see what else can we do to this guy. We're about to lose Oblivion and Pallid. And we should redo that disease. Pyre. Let's see what that does for us. That's crystal, right? If the bridge guardian comes, hopefully I can root that thing, or uh, we're going to have some issues. And I can get the second fire dot. Plus this one. We're at 340 DPS. For, 1000 DPS, so that's not terrible, but we're out of mana now, so let's just let that uh, go for a second. What did I not click? Let's send to this guy. Yeah, I just don't have. I don't have a lot of DPS yet. There we go. Start recasting these things on here. All right, I'm gonna wait. I need to do a composite actually. Mercenary has plenty of mana. So as long as he keeps the pet up, we should be fine. Yeah. Let's do Frenzy dead. Why not? And recast that. cast. I gotta start casting them all again. There we go. Come on, why can't... Why, what I do? Come on, there we go. And Oblivion... Pallid. Uh, looks like disease is wearing. This thing should die now. I don't think I need to recast anything. Quite a, uh, quite the, uh, quite the hit points on this thing. What are we at here? Eighty-six million hit points. With uh, something my average was like around almost three hundred k.
90 million ish there we go 290 yeah all right so we got some old armor so let's just offer that out to the zone so ah you stupid button <laughs> never mind i clicked the wrong button all right let's just put them there all right what do we got in here now so there is a pass that goes kind of north two names in it I want to go this way though all right this guy can see us so we need to probably just pull him he's got a friend had a friend I'll kind of split them uh, I should be fine didn't realize he would aggro also Come on. Come on, friend. Go back to your spawn. Didn't snare this one, did I? No. Why is, why is he not returning? There we go. So that guy should not go back since he snared. Hopefully he's far enough away from that guy. We can pull him again. There we go. Let's get the pet on him. Let's go ahead and send the Thule. And I think that's all I'm gonna cast on this guy. Let the mercenary and the pet finish him off. It's going pretty well. I might have to do Clag again. Crag. How do you say that? Calrac? Calric? Swarm of Decay. That's a nice spell. Min companion, that could be useful. How, what are we on focus here? Oh, you know what? I'm not even using this assert for blood. I keep forgetting about this. I'm not, <laughs> not used to using it. I haven't used it really that much at all. So it flicks your target with a hungering toxin, causes 18k damage, has a 25% to increase the damage of your spells. Interesting. So let's go ahead and cast that and see what happens. Uh, what are we looking for here? I don't see... Alright, let's do that. Let's do this again. Can we reassert? Huh. What's it say on here? So, wow, we critical that for uh, 128,000. Yeah, this I gotta I gotta figure that one out a little bit more. All right, looks like there is undead on one side and that guy on the other. I'm guessing we'll get both. Um, yeah, let me get a little bit more mana. Oh, there's chaotic power. Increases the base damage of 25 level 115 and lower damage over times with a 24 second, at least 24 second, duration of 24 seconds at least 100 damage. Okay. 
So maybe that's what I was looking for. Let's see if we can snare this one guy. I got him. So with that spell, what was that? How much? How much of an increase was that? It says it. Oh, by by sixty to one hundred ninety percent. What? What? <laughs> sixty to one hundred ninety percent. Uh, hold on. Mathematically, that is insane. Okay. Oh my god, 1.5 million crit? One, four, 400,000 crit? Have I just not been paying attention? Is that how much it's normally doing? That's pretty insane. Alright, we got it again. Huh. That's a mechanic that I... I should have a little bit more into that's pretty crazy all right can we just walk past this guy yeah he doesn't care he's like not my job all right so here is probably all undead right so where is my oh man where is it perfect I... it is undead He's not undead, though. Alright, let's just kind of skirt past these guys. Can we go past you? Yes, we can. Can we go past you? Probably if it's a gnome, we would be able to. Alright. Now we're here. <laughs> what do we got going on up here? Alright, so they can all see us. Ancient Guardian, they can see us. More Ancient Guardians, more there. Interesting. Alright, let's look here. For your... So if we get inside of here... I don't... Th probably This is probably isn't worth the effort for this area. Let's see if we can get past some of this stuff. I mean, it seems like we were pretty safe just walking past it. Uh, I'm going to kill this skeleton, maybe. Yeah, he attacked anyway. I want to try this out again. So, a assert for blood. I don't know what that did, but... Alright, let's... Can we assert again? Okay, so it fail. If it fails, we don't get anything. Or we get this bone curse, maybe. Turns healing into harm, jeez. Oh, we're out of mana anyway, so... That's an interesting mechanic. I, I'm definitely uh, liking it. Definitely increased my damage significantly, so... I think that's something I'm gonna have to do before I start dotting on named. Snare you. So we should probably death bloom. Um, I'll hold off on that. I'm gonna actually Levant out, and we're gonna head over to Gorowind. I think I want to try that place out. So this is about forty. If we hit twenty, twenty percent after this, it's about forty percent a kill. Not exactly something to write home about. But it's really easy, and we c did kill one named. Definitely, uh... Definitely worth investigating. I bet if you had the full group like this guy down here, or he left, uh, you could, uh... Kill, like, probably half the zone. Like, a full group of 115s. Could probably kill half the, half the zone, and very little time. Right, let's go ahead and 
companion him because he is taking a little bit of damage. I just don't want to waste any mana on this mob. Alright. Come on, kill him. There we go. Alright, so 20%, yeah. So it's about 40% of kill here. So that's about standard for this zone and uh, Scorching Wood about I'm going to probably guess Corwind is going to be 40% a kill. So that's, that's interesting. We'll head over to Gorwin, then Frontier Mountains. We'll try that, that out and see. See what we get there. And then from Frontier Mountains, we'll try that Shaw, Shaw, Shaw Lore. Laboratory and Howling Stones and all that stuff. We'll try all that out if we can get into it. We should be able to get into Howling Stones, no problem. Uh, Alright, so where is the secure point? Way over here at Lyceum's entrance. Alright, so we're going to run it. Alright, whoa. The Sarnax up here. I wonder if they drop anything uh, noteworthy. I remember camping, <laughs> camping the the old ones outside this area on my druid for a while. Haggle Baron. Those are all quest. All these blue ones, I think, are quest mobs. I think I remember some of these from. Uh, building out the uh my notes for doing this zones quest a courier all right so oh gullerback's here i remember that guy wasn't he the he was either the name giant or the name gorilla interesting that's so cool <laughs> I like it when they redo the zones. Uh, I, some people call it lazy, but I think it's pretty cool to see like what a different team would do to a zone and try to keep you know the, the spirit of the old zone, but reimagine it in such a way like uh, the f the new fear plane for uh, House of Thule is pretty sweet. All right, let's just keep running past all of this stuff. Oh, it looks like somebody buffed my pet. A druid, or a ranger. Nice. I didn't even notice. But I saw a shiny. Oh, that skeleton. Oh my gosh, I am stunned, jeez. Alright, buddy. I, I get it. You wanna kill me. Did not expect that. Go. Perfect. These are so uh these are so easy to kill. It's like, uh, what is he, like a low 106? So he's probably worth 40%, so he'd be 60. I'm gonna, see, yeah, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Death Bloom while I'm running. Because I'll get the med bonus while I'm running. All right, uh, so we're going to head up to Skyfire. And I don't know what to expect in Skyfire. I, 
I heard there's like a dot or something that's zone wide or I don't know. So, oh, there's like lava right there. That's stuck on a tree. That's pleasant. I guess the volcano went off. I don't know. All right. Oh, the lava's not here on the side. What? <laughs> that is so weird. All right. So let's take a look at this zone real quick. It's my first time here. Looks like a bunch of named or uh, named cycles. So the over there is that way. BP's that way and Gorowin's up that way. So let's go with, like that way. Wow, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty cool. Jeez. What are these guys? These are blue. These are 111s. Nice. And they're undead. What the hell was that thing? There was a crazy looking creature over there. Alright, um... Invis the undead. Are these undead? No. These are those are live. That thing right there. What is that? A death drink. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Um A dusty mummy. I guess we're gonna have to kinda go around this. A uh why why there's the flying things that I heard about. These things are Apparently annoying since they're so high up in the sky. Wow, this is cool. All right, let's go around this little mountain right here. Is there anybody in the zone? There is a level 99. A magmite. Do I dare try to kill it right here? I'm gonna. Why not? I'm gonna assume he's probably resistant to fire. Let's try this assert thing, right? Didn't work. Nope, oh, fire landed on him. Alright, so what are we at? 43. That one landed on too. <laughs> Don't like that, whatever bobbing that's going on right there. But incite our ally. All right, 43 to 99. That's 60% for a blue. All right. You need to cross this lava lake. How much damage does it do? Nothing. <laughs> okay. It's fun. Let's re invis. Oh, shit. What is that? What is that? Is that a vampire? Oh god, a drake too? At least you can root him. Alright, so that's... I can't cast, so... There we go. Did not get it. All right, so that's an interesting mechanic. We'll have to... Oh, God, another one? What is this? What on earth is this? All right. Oh, another one. All right. Um. Yeah, this is not a good idea. 
Um, mercenary's dead anyway. That's not a good idea to be right there. <laughs> Let's get over to the zone wall. Um, I don't want my pet to die, so feign death. And I'm going to death piece. What is that? Guardian worm. Oh, man. I didn't even see those things. They're like up in the sky. Can he see me? He's not attacking, so... Should be fine. I say that, but he's attacking me. Why did he attack me? Uh, death piece. Does he not... Can, can these things see through feign death? Or do they just like randomly, uh... Alright, yeah, he doesn't give up any kind of concern. Just, I guess he just randomly, uh, AoE'd and hit me. Alright, let's just get rid of that, get our pet. Sit. Whoa. Sorry. Um, excuse me. Mr. Worm. We're gonna make our way <laughs> try to get past all this nonsense. Yeah, this zone is uh this zone is kinda like what people said. Random mobs attacking. Though that sixty percent was pretty nice. Still going in the wrong way. Is that the over there zone? Yeah. Oh, that's a secure point. I could have just did that. All right, we're safe. <laughs> I didn't know if they would uh, see invis, and we're pretty low on life at the moment. Got a shiny collectible. I'm going to turn off uh, Gloom real quick. Because we're just going to die if we don't. So, interesting zone. I guess if you're multi-boxing, you can handle all the ads that you can get by sitting in the middle of it. Uh, but, I mean, I don't see, like, I'm like right here, I don't see anything, but I didn't really see, that was like a vampire though, so that was kind of cool. I've been looking for vampires to kill for Holdridge, and uh, I'm uh, definitely uh, interested in this zone now. I wonder if there's, it says roaming undead over there. I wonder if there's like a vampire area. Oh God, I hate these ones. The Chromadex. What the hell is this? What is this? Oh, it's a guy power leveling. What is he? Shaman? Looks like a shaman. So I guess he's just uh, multiple multi root riding. So that's pretty interesting. All right, let's keep going. Oh god, he's doing nice DPS. All right, we're almost in to uh, Gorowin. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't expect this. What on earth is this? 
It's another one of those sky ash drakes. Wasn't this quaint? So we'll have to see uh see how this one is. Hopefully the mercenary can be re uh I don't know how he died that fast, but uh whatever. Alright, so we got our traveler here. I'm gonna met up while the mercenary does his thing and take a look at the map here. So it looks like we'll go down this path. There's some names there. Are we alone? Yes, we are alone in Gorowin. That is nice. Uh, so we can check out a named in this first area. Looks like there's two paths to get to well, this area here with another name that spawns in three different locations. And then another name in three locations. <laughs> I guess that's a, 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 a thing in the zone. Uh, then we can go there and then past that is a whole different thing over here. So this looks interesting. I wonder how big this area is. All right. Looks like we're good. Can we invis past anything? All right, we're fighting Sarnax, okay. We got an officer, he is blue. And we have dogs that don't see invis, what? What? Do they not have the same upgrades as uh, the Chardock dogs? All right. Wow. So we can kind of observe everything from right here. All right. So no named. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, we got guide. He doesn't come up here, though. So let's grab this guy. Can I snare him? There we go. He is snareable. Kind of bring him up here. There we go. And he's rootable. So let's go ahead and do that. I should have asserted him first. Didn't do anything though. So it looks like these do not summon. That is uh, good to know. Drop Death Bloom and composite. And I need to re rune. Probably should have done that earlier. Just let this guy uh, rot. Oh, we got our uh, debuff anyway. So let's redo uh, those two. And that should be <laughs> more than enough to kill him. And we are at 99.4. And we are at 76. So that's 76%. Wow. All right, what did we get here? We got a Forge Born Blade. Uh, maybe a vendor item. Let's just loot it for now. We got some redonium. Haven't seen that yet. And some conflagrant powder. All right. So we pull. Those two look linked. So that's going to be interesting. I wonder if we can just like go past these guys. Things indifferent. All right, that's easy enough. So 76% a kill here. Does the patroller see invis? No, jeez. Oh, wow, look at that guy. He can see me. That guy can't. That guy looks undead though, so. That's interesting. Is this guy? That guy looks like he can see us too.
I don't see a... So let's do this. Let's just run past this guy. And then run past this guy. And then death. There we go. Where are we at now? We're right down here. So let's take, kind of look around while we're waiting. Is that guy named? He looks bigger. <laughs> Whenever I see a bigger mob, I, I think named. All right, I don't see anything different there. That looks like a dead end in there though. So we want to go that way when we stand up. Hopefully we can uh, invis before get attacked. I kind of want to get, this looks like a nice open area over here. Maybe right here. Let's see if we can get over there. Why are you attacking me? That's a bunch of guys. All right. Might not work out the way I was thinking. Look at the map again. So I'm, I need to go that way. Okay, so that's this way. That guy's not named, is he? He's a director. I'm assuming these students will attack me as soon as I stand up. But everybody else hasn't forgotten me yet, so I need to wait on that. Alright, we're going to stand up, try it out. Alright, that, that worked. The Lord is indifferent. All right, where are we at here? So there's the elder. Daw. All right, so this looks like a nice open area. The life stealer up here. Let's try this. All right, let's pull this elder. He's light blue, but he's 109. And hopefully that dude up there does not like join in. Assert. Didn't work. There we go. Alright, so let's kind of just keep our head on a swivel here until we figure out what's, what all the different uh, stuff is here. This guy's hitting... Pretty decently, I suppose. Not uh, not my day on that. Let's incite him. No roamers over here. It looks like, what I can tell so far. Unless they just have like a really large path. All right, he's dead. I should have probably looked at how much experience he gave. All right, let's invis up. Got that director over there. There's two of them right there. A whole bunch of guys right there. Let's go a little deeper. Uh. Actually, there's a guy named One Eye in there. Is he? He's not up, is he? No. So let's see here. Man, this is cool looking. What are these things? These are. It's 
looks like it's going to be more than one mob. I don't really want to have to spend my time splitting them. Shiny. Uh, let's see here. I think we can get this stalker, right? Can we just like root him? Actually, this is interesting. Oh, well, I... oh my god, I almost died. <laughs> Okay, so the director can see invis, I guess, or I was not invis. So that is good to know. That was a... Uh, I'm running a, uh, Eben. I'm running a healer merc. It's, uh... It's some skin from, uh... Something. What's it called? Skeletal Knight. I think it was from... Let's see your claim. One of the expansions that they were doing in the the uh, the store. I don't remember which one. Maybe House of Thule. Uh, let's see your expansions. I think it was this House of Thule one. Not 100% sure, though. Alright, so... I'm gonna... that invis me? No, alright, I'm gonna invis. So, did that director see through my... Yeah, the director can see, through, see invis, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. We're going to send the pet on that. For some reason, I can't stand up. I guess there's like an invisible wall here. <laughs> so you can't jump off the side. Right. I do that. Perfect. <laughs> so I should try try a again, and I did get it. That's good. So that should really uh, help out the DPS on the second reload. And go like that. I'm going to go ahead and death bloom. There we go. Ah. All right, we're at 1%. So. Where is my pet? Summon companion. There we go. Jeez. We still have a surge. We don't know anything about modern EQ. I played it back when I was seven, 10 years old. I quit right after the cat people. Okay, you, you quit after uh, Lucklin. Yeah, I mean, it, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. This is, uh, this is the expansion Empires of Kunark. And, uh, this is, uh, a dungeon called Gorowind. It's pretty cool. It's my first, first time coming here. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. I'm playing a, uh, Necromancer. Oh, you know what I did not do? I did not... When I clicked off, uh, 
what you call it, uh, glitch. I did not, come on. I did not re-enable it. So conflagrant silk, scrap a cloth, and a, a forgeborn shield. All right, we'll see if those are worth anything. Oh, I think we got a citizen that wants to get arrested and send him in. Assert. And we got it. All right, so this guy is 108. And we are at 93%. Almost one AA per, ki per kill on that director. Almost. All right. So that's going. Let's get Rune back up. Yeah, it, the the UI looks <laughs> a lot different. This is the this is the stock UI uh, that you can get now with all the. I have. I don't have any mods or anything. Uh, I just have it laid out very inefficiently at the moment. <laughs> just everything's everywhere. I've just I've, cha I've changed it a lot over over the leveling time, but it's worked out uh, pretty well. All right, this thing needs to die because I don't want to waste man on it. <laughs> All right, that should give us oh wow fifty percent. Jeez. Definitely more experience than we were getting before. All right, I'm going to see if I can go around to this side. Grab that guy right there. Go ahead and search. Gift of mana. Which gives us a free nuke, or free dot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just use blood magic. Since I am impatient, I don't like stopping. And I'll do a uh, composite, so I can just round out the rest of my dots real quick. Let that tick for a few. All right, so what was over there on the other side? If we go through there, we go up a bridge, and it goes opens up into like a larger area. Interesting. Well, I might have to go explore over there. All right. Ticking them down. Come on. Nice. All right. Um, let me see here. I want to get that dog before I try to pull anything else. Or maybe we should just get this life stealer. He is probably going to be. I can slow him. As long as the dog doesn't add, we should be fine. Let's go ahead and death bloom. <laughs> I always still have rune. All right, perfect. So let's see if we can get him solo. No. Jeez, what did he do? What? What just happened? Here, let's do this. Hunt the dog. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Though we probably should have killed him. 
I just wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's try the life stealer now. There we go, let's slow him. Oh, he didn't slow. Is he not undead? Oh my gosh, what the hell is that? He must not be uh, undead. I would expected him to be, but uh, guess not. Man, whatever that is, <laughs> it's crazy looking. Let's see. Started to play EQ with my older brothers after they moved away from home after Lucklin. They moved on to playing Dark Ages of Camelot, so I went with them. Great, I never got past level 40 in either game on my own. I was just a kid. You know what? You know, those are good games, and uh, it's okay. <laughs> Dark Ages of Camelot was pretty fun. And, uh, I'm trying to remember something about that. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been like, what, 20 years since that game game was, uh, was around? Maybe 20 years since Lucklin. But, uh, yeah, I mean... I, I, I still find this game fun today, and uh, I play play it quite a bit. Yeah, 20 years. Jeez, I feel, I feel old. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get this dog. Who doesn't want to unroot yet? Jeez, that's the world's longest route. But if we... Assert him and fail. There we go. Do you still uh, play any any MMOs or anything like that? I had a. Uh, I had personally tried uh, Dark Ages of Camelot, but WoW was the one that uh, that took me away from EverQuest back in the day. I uh, probably a waste of mana. There we go. Uh, assert and then crack. If we get it, nope, didn't. Alright, uh, let's see what else is in this area. So there's a named in there. We should maybe kill the placeholder for that. Uh, they're named over there. Maybe a named in this pit over there. This guy we killed. Got another elder. Let's go ahead and grab him. Oh, they like feign death you or are they mimbler <laughs> mimbler you that's what the dogs do all right this elder is like smashing my pet Damage, fire, char bones. I'm gonna try something. So you fell off the MMO wagon in 2010 after you graduated high school. Played uh, Dark Age of Camelot until WoW's release with my brothers and stayed with WoW with them until about 2010. They both stopped. Well, that's kind of. <laughs> I I wish I would have had somebody to play with like that. 
I, I lost touch with all the uh, all the people I ever ever met playing uh, any of these games. Kind of must have been fun playing with your brothers and stuff. All right, Death Bloom. Death Bloom, come on, click. All right, we want to get one of these pit fighters out of here. Aging pit fire. I think that's the placeholder. So let's punt him. Oh, they solo pull. Really? <laughs> that is interesting. All right. I want to try if I charbones this guy and then sent a tool and he's slowed. Perfect. Search. There we go. 2010. What expansion was that in, in WoW? Stipendaria? Hmm. So that'd be... Yeah, mainly played with them. Patted off during Wrath. Ended up <laughs> mandering the end of that. Ah, oh, Kata. Yeah. A lot of people quit in Kata. A lot of people. I had quit in uh, Burning Crusade, and I had came, come back for for Kata, and like everybody I, I had known didn't play anymore. Ah. I uh, see it. Another one of these, probably. Man, this guy's hitting. Hitting pretty solid. Looks like that guy respawned. No, oh, that's a waste. Okay, Mr. Panier was announced soon after you quit. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I liked Mr. Pandaria. It was uh, pretty fun. I liked Kata too, but a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, unfortunately, you uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't go through it, or if you missed it, you, or, you know, if you wanted to play it or something. But I, I could understand if, if you're... The group you played with uh, quit, even you would uh, probably just quit with them. Oh, jeez. I forgot all about that guy. Alright. Uh, Charbones. Scent of Thule. I failed on the char, I guess. And he is just like murdering my pet. There we go. Char. Nope. Didn't get it again. <laughs> ah. Makes sense. I that's Do you do you miss playing uh MMOs? Or have you just moved on past that part of your <laughs> part of your life? My wife uh, makes fun of me for playing such an old game, and my kids are like, the graphics are so bad, I don't know why you would even want to even think about this game. But, uh, yeah, 
<laughs> it's just funny. Uh, let's see here. We are in a predicament. I'm gonna go ahead and swarm him. Uh, let's see here. We got this is broiling shadow. Got nothing. Got nothing for you, pet. <laughs> nothing at all. Ah, I got death bloom. That's what I got. Uh, six percent. I can composite him. don't really miss MMOs. My free time goes into reading random free fiction online and various idle incremental games, which are similar niche as MMOs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh man. There, do you, do you play like the free ones on itch.io? Uh, there was this one I was playing on, uh, it was like age of empires. And all you, it was like a one button kind of thing. All you did was like upgrade your stuff as they killed things. Oh man, it was so cool. I, I could never find it again after I played it once. There was a healing one I think I played too. Those are fun games. I, I wish they would, I wish I could find something like that on my phone that was fun. That wasn't like pay to win. See if I can get this one. Charbones, got it, and load. All right, perfect. Let's see if we can get a cert. There we go. We got that. Perfect. And this guy should die. I'm gonna do disease. I don't I'm not 100% sure. So what are we at here? 62%. Oh, we've gotten a few AAs. 62 to 24, not bad, not bad. All right, now that we got a little cooldown time, let's take a look at what we got here. Twin proc, not gonna help us. None of these are gonna help us right now. Blood magic, what is this one? Upgrade to. Just a better ratio. Doesn't cut the timer down at all. Gathering dusk. Dying grasp. Uh, I don't want to get that for the mercenary. I want the improved healing. So that's a few more to go on that. Uh, I feel like I should save my A for this. What is this grants you refute for blood, 100% chance. Fire synergy. A lot of the ones I played and put a decent amount of time into are the ones that are basically just various text and button fields. Okay, okay. There was, uh, I think I tried one like that was like that, no graphics. I can't remember what it was, though. I played another one where you were, you were like a healer and you like had to click the heal button. It was just like one button and you had like three guys you had to keep alive and it was just like 
but it, it had it had graphics to visualize the uh, killing. I don't think it, the, it actually corresponded to what was actually happening, though. All right, let's see if we can get him. Nope. Search. And he's just like taking my pet to town. Let's see if we can. Oh, jeez. All right, let's just dot him up. Nice. And seven. Pallid, and we're gonna try to rear re fruit before we do that one. Got it. What the hell? <laughs> he just turned into the overlord, overking. <laughs> and now he turned into an assassin? What? What is going on? Am I being punked? What? What? I have no idea what just happened there. There we go. Uh, slow. Why didn't slow land? There we go. I gotta be closer. Uh, wow, that was a weird fight. <laughs> it turned in overking and then an assassin. Let's get this guy. He's just shooting. Teams everywhere. Go ahead, Death Bloom. All right. So we get that. We got Illusions or Sarnak Oracle, which is no drop. So never gonna loot that. Never gonna loot that. There we go. And slow. Refute or assert. Higher. And crawler. So, since I'm not casting refute, I'm not getting this bonus, am I? So I have to either cast refute or upgrade this for 200 AA. Which is pretty insane. Right, another one of those lords over here, and a citizen. Hmm. Ooh, oh, we got the named. All right, this is more important. <laughs> let's kill him. Uh, let's see here. What are we at? Thirty-nine. I'm assuming this guy, since he's one fourteen, he's gonna be harder than uh, the bridge keeper that we killed in uh, Chardock. So let's uh, try this out. I'll just drop everything I can on him. I forgot what's hand of death. Oh yeah, we want that for sure. Okay. So since he's named, he's probably going to summon. So let's try, uh, Uh, 
we're not in a race here so we can wait a little bit more mana i know in that bridge keeper i ran out of mana but i did not know about uh the interaction with this nor did i burn he was on my burns so and hopefully i can get this guy charboned and slowed all right i think we're good to go once we hit 100 one more tick All right, Cherbone did not land. He's immune to snares. Jeez, he just like smoked my pet. Whoa, what is killing me? What is, oh my gosh. What on earth is that? Pet wound. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is causing that? Alright, get away from that guy. <laughs> I gotta get closer for this. <laughs> Snare did not land. This is unfortunate. Oh my gosh, I might die to this guy. <laughs> Frenzy the dead. I need to get dots on this thing. <laughs> the dead. Swarm rise. Uh, twin cast, maybe? I don't know. I'm just cl clicking stuff at this point. Rolling shadow. Can't cast for some reason. All right, step back a little bit further. Oh, geez, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, son of a gun. Man. Wow. Well, lesson learned. Uh, let's go to guild lobby. <laughs> I thought was doing a lot of damage, though. That was, uh... I was like 100k a tick. I probably needed a different spell set for that. Alright, um... I don't feel like running back to Gorowind, so I am going to Expedient Recovery, if I can find it. One of the OG text-based idle games would be Candy Box 2 from 2013 to 2014. The first one is a lot similar, but shorter. Okay, uh, what, what do you do in it? Uh, what's like the uh, premise? Uh, let's see where can I put this? Right here. There we go. Getting some experience back. Well, that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> that was definitely uh, an interesting uh, dungeon. I probably just messed up terribly there. Uh, let's see, where am I at? I'll just leave my body there. Go sit in the lag pile for a moment. Maybe I'll get a buff. Then we'll head off to Howling Stones, I think it would be a good place to try next. Yeah, I think so. All 
right. Come on, zone. Oh, geez. Yeah, lag pile. I gotta turn models off. Just leave them on for right now. All right. Um, I summoned a pet. Magically, we got the same name. Uh, Jan. Uh, it's making me think of Office. Uh, let's see here. Conversions, gloom side. And a pet haste. Hide models all. There we go. That is just unbearable with uh, that many players on the screen in one little spot. All right, get this one. And what's the other one? Melee guard. Collect candies and use the candy to basically gear up, then go through various zones, auto scroll battle style, to eventually take on the final boss. It's all done in ASCII art. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. I'll have to look that up. Uh, let's see here. What am I missing? I think I got everything there. Yeah, that looks good. I guess we can just met up. Oh yeah, we're missing Rune. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, Charbones back. Web-based web -based game, it's on GitHub IO. Okay, cool, I'll have to, I will look that up after, after this. All right, let's see here. And I think that's everything. I just need this mercenary back so he can buff me. I unfortunately did not get any buffs from the lag pile. So, that's fine. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my guild hall. And... Uh, let's head over to the over there. Try out. Uh, let's see here. What did I say I was going to do? Howling Stones first. And we'll... Try to work our way down to uh, Sethir's tomb. I think that'll be uh, the hardest part of this. All right. Uh, I think clicking that will take me there, if I remember right. Teleport to Frontier Mountains, yeah. Uh, I just go straight to it. Uh, sledge mallet. Actually, before we do anything, I want to see if these were actually worth picking up. So that sells for zero, and that sells for zero. And that sells for zero. Jeez. Alright, I'll have to look up those. They're probably quest items or something. Let's 
get those collectibles. And go ahead and give that to you. And off to the over there we head. Now I wonder, maybe Frontier Mountains first. I, I'm trying to decide. Might be worth, have I, if I don't have the Hunter for that one, I definitely want to go to that one. Uh, not Hunter, but uh, Exploration. No, I already, yeah. Let's see Exploration here, Droga. Gates of, yeah, I was gonna go there. Other OGs in the text only style would be a dark room, a Civ style apocalypse mystery kitten games, a Civ style one, and Trimps, a Civ style battle, battle territory. Trimps is a bit weird. Of all the three, there are web based games. Dark room has a mobile app that is decent though. Is, is that the one that got really big or is there like there was a one of, one of those games like was really popular a few years back is it that one or am I thinking of a completely different one actually let's try over there while we're here uh, might as well try to kill something in this zone We shouldn't have any problems killing something. It's just a matter of, uh, is it worth the effort? <laughs> All right, we're at 56%. I don't like the tigers. They are a pain. Go over here. I know there's two static statics there. And then I think two more statics there. And where is it? Oh, there's a group right there. So let's run a little bit past them. I don't really plan on staying here very long. I just want to see how much experience I get. All right, let's kill this rhino. It's blue. Uh, 110. I'll send the pet. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, Charbone. He's charred. Go ahead and send him. He slowed. There, let's go. I forgot to assert. Or, yeah. Didn't work anyway. The one that got really big would be Cookie Clicker. Okay. <laughs> Go. I feel like I should heal him, but I feel like he's on his own. All right, so 56. Let's see how much we get out of this guy. It's melting pretty quick, faster than those uh, Sarnak, I think. All right, 56 to five percent, so about 50 percent for a mob in this zone. Can we kill these things? Go immune to snare. Uh, um, burn him. Got him. Sent. There we go. He slowed. Assert. Didn't get it. It's definitely an interesting mechanic. Uh, let's go here.
What? No. Eradicate that nonsense. No damage shields for you, dude. Try the research. Oh, we got it. Oh, uh, let's crack. Cr rag him? I don't know how you would even say that. There we go. And Oblivion. He should die. A very painful fast death. Alright, 5%. Let's see where we get with this guy. He's 111, so he's a little bit higher level. Fifty-eight, so. 53%, no, 50, yeah, 53%, all right, we got a uh, collectible, I think I already have this one, yeah, all right, so about 50% in this zone, 40% in Scorch, uh, it was like 40 to 7, 60, it was 60% in Gorowin, uh, so we're pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going through here. I'm not going to waste my time killing anything else. Those are pretty much the harder mobs in the zone. Names are just nasty. <laughs> I don't know what that, I don't know what that 100k dot thing was, man. That was just too much for me. Oh, a shiny. It's not, not named, is it? Good. Where are we at? We're running in the wrong direction. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, where is the drop down? Alright, so this is going to be a tricky, tricky maneuver. Don't try this at home. <laughs> there we go. What are these? These are 110. So we just need to skimmy our way down. So if we stand up in a biz, should be fine. I don't believe you see in biz, unless there's a named. I think it was this way. It's like the same path as the current one, right? There we go. Oh, there's a raid mob there. There we go. Howling stones. If we avoid the names, we should be fine. They have these massive dots on them. I don't. I don't think I can handle that. All right. Ooh, this looks so much cooler. Wow. All right. I want to go down to the downstairs. It's in Viz. Does anything see in Viz here? That guy does. That guy doesn't. Interesting. The golems do see invis, though. All right, we're gonna jump down to the basement. I'm trying to think of which side is the right side. I think it's this one. All right. Yeah, right here. drop down and feign death oh never mind we don't have to we landed on the, landed on some weird ledge all right what do we got down here we got ghost other ghost a fester all right this looks like it gives us a little bit of room for maneuvering down here 
Let's see what's over in this side. We are uh, invis undead right now, so. Ooh, shiny. Let's see what's over here. Looks like there's just those two paths. Plus that guy up there. Not. Not a big deal, I guess. All right, let's. I got death effigy up, so I can see what see what we're dealing with with uh this stuff here. Let's go ahead and send the pet. I can go ahead and slow him. Let's try this. All right. Fighting undead is nice because I can start out with a slow without having to charbone. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, what are we at here? 58%. Let's see how this rolls in our favor. Looks like I'm going to have to read dot. All right, so where are we at? We're right here. And we want to get down there. So we need to go south. Oh, yeah. We went the right way. I had done this run with my mage, and I ran all the way to the right there, and I zoned over. <laughs> all right, so 20%. So that was... 50 70 percent kind of the same as uh same as gorwin all right ghost over here this one's blue 112 let's go and just send our pet in slow it because we need to go ahead and companion our pet And dot this guy to death. Uh, yes, it does, actually. Um, you lose about 5%. Uh, they have perks now with, with, like, the subscription where you don't lose a level on death. But you still you can still lose experience. I used when I died. I used this experience, uh, this AA expedient recovery, which summons all your corpses and reses them all. But it's like a 120 hour cooldown. So I used that just so I didn't have to go back and get my corpse. <laughs> or <laughs> burn a uh, essence emerald resing myself. Well, I guess I wouldn't have to because the my mercenary here, the healer scenario I have can uh, res me if I bring it my body all right so that's it's pretty good actually oh we got two roamers right there Let's see if we can get this guy oh what the hell did he just cast on me cert Oh, slow didn't land. Slow didn't land. Why is slow not landing on this guy? There we go. And... There we go. And Pallid, one more, and I think we're good to let him just die. Maybe throw these guys on there. Unless a cert triggers, no. Nope. Is there anybody else in the zone? There is a Shaman and a, a Druid. 
Uh, collectible. Let's grab that. Let's grab this fester. Uh, I probably should death blow. Send that in right there. Shard bone this guy. And hopefully we can slow him. There we go. Slowed. A surge. Didn't work. We did get a gift of mana though. Aegis on pet. Poison. Disease. And Pallet Haze. Perfect. And let's go ahead and do a heal just to help out the mercenary a little bit. Go ahead and assert again. Didn't work. I'm going to let it die. All right. So 113k. So this thing is 110. We're at 75. So we should be at a uh, 50% ish. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's about right. 60%. Yeah. So that's a collectible. That's vendor loot. All right. So we did pretty well up here. Cleared all of that out. What do we got going on over here? We got Nada. Oh jeez, there's like four mobs right there. And that guy has a torch. All right, that's a roamer. I don't want to fight three at once. What about over here? About the same situation. And they're blue, so I might not be able to solo pull these, but let's uh let's pull this guy out and run over here. You get that. And if I can switch targets that one we're gonna pestilence you that direction which uh seems to work out for me Let's see if i can target this thing all right charbone failed all right let's just dot it up Do rise of bones on this one. There we go. Perfect. Um, I want to see if this thing summons. So this is probably a risky move, but uh, definitely worth investigating. And it does summon. All right, get my pet to switch to it while I uh, finish off this one. Jeez. Oh, crap. Come on. There we go. Our pet should be fine now. So note to self, blobs summon. All right, let's, can we assert this one? No. Uh, just greed that stuff for now. Charbone. Landed. Sent, snared, or slowed. And we'll do fire dots. We did get our assert, but we have no mana to cast anything, so unfortunate. Blood magic. 
and this thing's dead. All right, perfect. So that worked out pretty well. So let's see what else is up here. Do you have blood magic running? Uh, there's two, I think. I don't want to fight two again. Let's see if I can get this one solo. This guy just needs to path out of the way. So let's see what can we... Is there anything useful we can buy at the... Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, there's a golem there too. All right, he's a roamer. He needs to move. I'm pretty sure that uh, golem will <laughs> smash my... Uh, my pad. All right. A lamp lighter. Oh, he's. I can't even target him. All right. He's not even something to worry about. All right. Perfect. Here, right, let's grab him and get him outside. I thought that little thing was a uh, mob. <laughs> All right, uh, let's charbone him and send the pet slowed and we got it on the first try. There we go. Now we just dot this thing up. Uh, I should probably composite. Use a little bit less of the mercenary's time killing me. And there we go. Everything is good. One more dot. And <laughs> then we start over. There we go. That worked out pretty well. I think that should be enough to kill this thing. I do a Aegis on him just in case. Reassert. Got it again. And just one more dot for fun. There we go. Read. Alright. There was a skeleton roamer somewhere around here. Where are we at? Hallway wise. Oh, we're on the other side. We're not on the, even on the right side I want to be on. Because so I want to clear to where uh, <laughs> Sethir's tomb. Alright. Uh, okay, so... This should work. Yeah. It worked. Jeez. Go, 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 go. Save the healer. Save the healer. Resisted. Uh, slow. There, he slowed. I got that. And then we'll just ages in between. Perfect. And we'll just keep going with that. Perfect. All right, I think it's dead. Where is this guy? All right, I'm not gonna risk. Uh, I'm not gonna risk getting summoned without my pet ready. A dirty metal spoon. Or dusty metal. Death Bloom. Oblivion. Uh, 
Crystal Crawler and Disease. I'll just wait for mana then. Alright, looks like the mercenary is gonna be good with the pet on this one. Alright, more collectibles for our collection. I can't remember how many AA you get for a collectible. Let's see here, we are in this one. Let's see, what did I get for this? I got, so 15 AAs if you get all the collectibles. That's pretty nice. Definitely gotta start collecting all those and getting all those done. That should definitely be enough to kill this thing. Or not, jeez. Conflagrant bone dust. Oh, another skeleton. Got two skeletons. For a specter. Uh, pestilence. Slow you. There we go, you're slowed. Not that it really matters. And you're slow, just in case you break. Start dotting this guy up. Actually, let's do Swarm of Decay on him. And we'll call Skeletons. Kind of let the pet do... Uh, do a little bit on this one while I uh, try to get a little more mana. All right, C four and uh, redo the pyre. Go ahead in sight. Might do a little bit more damage. I'll have to get more uh, mage weapons from my uh, mage for next time. Looks like we can do that again. And Oblivion. Perfect. All right, go ahead and snare him. I have no idea why I did that, but not like it mattered. He is slowed, so scenery. I should be able to handle that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rise bone. Because that doesn't take any mana. At least it <laughs> looked like it didn't take any mana. Uh, can I wake the dead on that thing I just killed? No. It's kind of annoying. A uh, spell. Corpses just disappear so fast it's never usable. Plus I, I have hit hide corpse in my uh, macros. All right, what do we got on Bloom? 26 seconds. That's a bit of a time. Oh, getting some packet loss. There we go, better now. That was weird. All right. So if we turn on that. So if we just run through there, 
We should be able to get all the way. There's a Reaper named we might be able to kill or <laughs> die to. <laughs> uh, all right, Death Bloom is up. Failed on that. There we go. So we should be able to just get these on there and that should be enough to kill it. All right. Oh, snare is actually wearing off. <laughs> And I'll do an Aegis just for the sake of it. Alright, so if we go over here. We need to go this way. Uh, three? I don't like those odds. Perfect invis. Are we still not in the right spot? Oh man, I'm, I'm forgetting the way to get here, right? If I go that way. I'm on this path right here. So that goes like that. Yeah, I forgot. I can't, can't do that. All right, jeez. Another shiny. Is this uh? Are we? Oh, we're at the bottom of the pit. We need to go up. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Before I ran that way with my mage, but I'm probably wrong. Oh, geez. All right, let's look at this again. So if we go that way, we're not getting there. If we go... Maybe it was that way through the south wing top. <laughs> oh, well, this is a good spot, really. I mean, it doesn't matter that much. Go ahead and do that. Get this guy dotted up. is like trucking him <laughs> all right one more dot and then we have to race do that should be plenty to kill him So we probably have to go back up and then go through the south wing. I thought you could get up there from here. So 
just something I'm, <laughs> I forgot. Oh man, I could have swore I jumped down and went that way with my mage. Maybe I went through here. I only went to the zone once. He slowed. <laughs> How many AAs do I need to grind a cap? Uh, I need, I think like 25,000 more, give or take 30,000. I'm just so far behind that I don't have a lot of the, uh, like I'm, I'm 115 level cap, right? But I'm missing a lot of the, uh, a lot of these focus that really increase, uh, your, uh, <laughs> they really increase your, uh, your, um, damage and I'm missing a lot of those. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm underperforming, <laughs> uh, Right now, it's look, looks looking like I'm getting between, depending on what I kill, because that's what I've been exploring uh, through this stream. Uh, but about 20% to about 75%, depending on what I kill per. Uh, but that is solo. Uh, I have I have another group. I do this. We have this buff called Lessons of the Devout, which is a. Uh, it's like a 50% bonus to your experience for 30 minutes. And I have a uh, 115 Shadow Knight that I I like to bring and do uh, just kill things really fast with for that 30 minutes to help him get AAs faster. But uh, solo <laughs> with with uh, my current setup, I'm, I'm fairly underperforming. It's going to take me a while to uh, max that out. Oh, you son of a gun. Go away. Yeah, stay over there. I uh, will get you when your time is up. Take a ticket. The cap is five per uh, per kill. So you, if you... If you're using like all the experience bonus stuff, you can get up to five, five per kill. Uh, and if I had a little bit more, uh, DPS, I could probably go to a more modern zone, like, uh, um, Great Divide or Eastern Wastes and kill stuff. But those mobs have like 60,000 or 60 million H hit points, give or take. And these have like, uh, like 10, <laughs> yeah, it looks like 10 million. So. It's a significant increase, but it scales well with your gear and your uh, stuff, so. <laughs> and what am I missing? Fire? I don't have the mana for fire. He resisted slow. Come on. Son of a gun. Get this on there. I should kill him. Still didn't land. Um, like, yeah, there, there's just still gear I can get, right? Um, I'm wearing a mix of the TOV, so like the, like the current expansion's Claws of Vision, and the previous one was Torment of Velos, I believe. 
I'm trying to remember their names. I always use the acronyms. Uh, and I have a mix of the gear between those for the, the first t tier of each of those uh, expansions. Where is... There we go. Slow's on. Aegis is on. So the, the best gear I could get would be uh, COV group tier three uh, without raiding, right? So raiding has its own, th I call it tier three tiers because there's the tradable uh, tier one, which is Snow Squall. Uh, then there's a tier, tier two, uh, which is dropped by the names uh, that's called uh, Blizzard. Uh, it's like some variation of blizzard on the name and then there's the crafted tier three which is better than the other other two and uh yeah and i have the the crafting to make the armor i just don't have the uh you get ore that drops from the name mobs in the cov expansion to make that i just don't have any ore on this guy I, I was able to craft a full set for my uh, multi-boxing group uh, doing uh, lots and lots of <laughs> farming in uh, Western Waste. There we go. So like my, my best in slot would be the crafted crafted gear from the current expansion uh since i don't raid at all uh and then the raid gear is is better than all of that yeah the name mobs are 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 basically rare mobs uh like on the map right all these red names are uh rare mobs that can spawn And, uh, like, uh, they usually have, like, like a, multiple drops. Like, you remember, if, if you remember, like, old Guck, right? Uh, Guck Bottom. Like, you, you kill the Ghoul Lord, you get a Yak or a, a Skull Shape, uh, helmet. The, the Magic Resist helmet. So you'd either get one of those, right? Well, the modern ones, they usually drop, like, an armor piece, an ore... And sometimes they drop another item. So they can drop like up to three items usually. Uh, we, earlier in the stream, I killed the bridge keeper and he dropped these gloves. Uh, so this is from the, uh, I think Empire's a Kunark. I can't remember. Uh, let's see, achieve. Uh, what is Chardok from? Yeah, Char Chardok is from uh, Empire's a Kunark. So. Empire's Kunark is like the first tier, and then the Ring of Scales is the second tier for those two. Uh, so they have their own thing like that, kind of like how C Torment and Claws are are they're kind of re related in that sense that they're both in the same continent, and they overlap a little bit with some stuff. But for the most part, it's uh... Yeah, and these these are like the class gloves you get from a named, and I think you can just click them, right? These are no trade, so I should be able to just click this, and it'll make the gloves, right? So I can claim the the gloves here, so I can get uh these are you know level 105 gloves that I got from that mob, or I can get the item back, but I can't trade it. So if I take this, right, I get the gloves. And uh, they changed it in the uh, the newer expansions. You have to like see so these uh, these I items right here. They have the same kind of item like that had, but you have to combine an vendor bot ore plus a class uh, symbol to make them. And then the the final tier, the crafted ones, the ore is a uh, a dropped item versus a vendor item. Uh, respawn timers in, um, it depends on, uh, your luck, right? It's the same as like the normal ones. It's pretty, pretty fast spawn. 
maybe 20 minutes. Uh, there's They do this event every once in a while where rare mobs spawn way more often. So that's kind of a, kind of a cool event. Uh, let's see which one. And come on, target him. So you can sometimes you can get like a rare mob back to back, back to back, uh, which is really nice. But they're significantly harder than like these common mobs. Like I got destroyed by that uh, named uh, mob in the last one just because it was doing so much damage to me because I'm <laughs> undergeared. But uh, well, I'm overgeared for this stuff, kind of, but. I'm still like under everything. I don't have any. I don't have any of the defensive AAs that you get, like combat agility and stability and all the other other stuff. So I'm kind of <laughs> lower on the totem pole. But excuses are just reasons for failure. But we'll get we'll get them. All right. This guy is about to die. Let's go ahead and start dotting this guy up. Get these guys on him. Yeah, like it's like all the raids are instanced now, so you don't have. To, there's no more the you know, the poop socking, and uh, you know waiting around for something to spawn. There's no you don't have to like compete to go kill something. Unless you're trying to kill like the old stuff on a progression server, that's still like that. But they also have agents of change, so you can spawn the old instances now. Uh, and that's on like every server, I believe. And it's uh, it's a lot more, <laughs> I guess, casual friendly than it was back in the day. I remember. I remember staying up awake three nights to get my cleric. Uh, three days like straight to get my cleric his epic camping uh, the dragon in uh, in uh, soul B rage fire I remember that was that was quite a uh, quite an ordeal Alright, that's nice. He can be rooted. Sent to Thule. And let's get this guy dotted up. Perfect. And let's get this one. Come on. Don't fizzle. It's not the time. And get that on there. All right. I think you're dead. I'm going to go ahead and death bloom since I just noticed it's up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the raid mobs are, they're not like that anymore, which, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting change. Uh, I, for one, I, you know, like I had more time then <laughs> to do that kind of stuff, but now you, you know, you can, you can, you can reasonably obtain stuff without, uh, dedicating your entire, <laughs> entire life to, uh, camping a mob. Uh, there's also group missions now that are kind of like uh, mini raids, you would almost say. Uh, sometimes you you fight the same thing, at, like the same mob as a raid. Like there's a in COV, there's a Zandikar uh, group mission that's pretty much the same as uh, same concept as the raid. 
Yeah, a lot, lots more players. So if, if everybody had to compete for it, I think everybody would just complain. Because it would be... It'd be no fun to not be able to experience content just because it doesn't spawn quick enough. Stuff like that, so... It's, uh... It's interesting. I wanted to go over here, didn't I? What do we got? Pulsing Bile. I don't want to deal with them. Alright, let's send Viz up. Let's go back up to the top. So... Oh, is there anything behind them? Really want to do I don't really want to break them. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is where we gotta go. So if we just run past them in FD. So if we go straight, turn, turn. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the best way to do this. I can see what was on the other side. Of oh, yeah, I can actually. <laughs> I forgot how to use this thing. There we go. Skeletons. Undead. So if I get past them, it's undead. 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 All the way through here. And then that guy. Where are we at? Somewhere around here. And then it's... Yeah, this room. But we don't want to go in there. We want to keep going straight. Turn here. Ah. Yeah. Uh, if we get past them, it's just undead, so... Let's invis up to undead. suspect that they can see us. So we're just going to go in. We should just be able to feign death on the other side, hopefully. Uh, da -da uh, rune. Really? I could just walk past them? <laughs> okay. Alright, so... We just have to get past these guys. There was a slime. That was the only thing I was concerned about. So we're in here. So... Yeah, the slime was like right around here. So we want to go straight shot. Uh, 
Ah, there's a slime right there. Okay. So let's go up here. Ah, uh, see, this is a dead end. I just have a feeling I can walk right past this stuff. Like so. I took it wrong. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, it's gonna feign death. All right, well, that's that. Um, all right, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was fun. Let me get my corpse summoned. All right, where's that corpse summon vendor? Right here. I don't really feel like running back there. Uh, da, da, da. Sort by price, I guess. Valium, Soulstone. Give it to this guy. There we go. Got both my corpses. Yes. Come on. Where's the other one? <laughs> Did we get them all back? Yeah, we got all our experience back. So he did his job. The mobs, so the mobs hit for 24,000, uh, 30,000, 27,000, and the, uh, the, the worm saw through and viz, whereas nothing else seemed to, like, be aggroing on me. I guess I was going within the, moving fast enough within the server six second tick, uh, that I was able to, to live, avoid them, but, uh, that, that guy just smashed me down pretty hard because I only have uh, 227,000 hit points so pretty quick <laughs> pretty quick death when they're hitting that fast all right um actually I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it for the night I'm getting kind of tired and uh whatnot so I would say uh thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day. It was a great, uh, great time talking to you, Evan. Uh, I'm going to go try out that clicker game. Uh, but uh, yeah, have a great one.